Welcome back to a new video. This lecture is going to be about creating animated plots. This video is going to be one of the videos that I create for my time series analysis playlist. You can just reach to that playlist from the cards of this video. Let's start coding. We are going to use matplotlib, so I will say import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And I can't do that. Okay. I'm going to import numpy as mp and after that I'm going to say from ipython.display import html and after that I will say from matplotlib.animation I'm going to import function animation like this. These are the libraries that we are going to use in this video. Now let's generate a sample data set that we'll be working with. I'm going to use numpy for data creation and I'm going to create a time series data like I will say years and it's going to be like numpy.arrange and I will say 1920 and 2021. So our year is going to look like this. Great. And I'm going to say data is going to be numpy.sign and I will say numpy space 0 2 multiplied by numpy.py and then I'm going to say length of the years. After that, I'm going to say 0 0.2 multiplied by numpy.random.random number. I will say length of the years. So I'm just going to do that and I will call the data. And you can see our values in here. Great. So we are going to work with this data. Also, you can just change this like we used random in some places. So if you just rerun this and recreate this, these values are going to change completely. And you can do that too. Great. So. Let's do, do it again and great. With our data set is in place, let's start creating our animated plot. I will be using matplotlib for this and specifically the function animation class to animate our plot. So I will say figure and ax and I'm going to say plt.subplots. Then I'm going to do line and I'm going to set like ax.plot. I will create empty list in here and empty list in here. And I'm going to set this as two. So, after this, we are going to do, I'm going to work in the same cell. I can just close this and clear the output. I'm going to clear the output from here. And then we can keep working on this cell. I'm going to say y minimum is going to be numpy.floor data.minimum. And I will say y maximum is going to be numpy.cell data.maximum we use the sale on there and I will say ax.set y lim we are going to set the y limit like y minimum and y maximum great so let's just make this like this with space so we can see clear and let's set like x text is going to be years and we will say 10 like this because it's going to show the every 10th year right now. Also, it's years. And then I'm going to say rotation 45. And I'm going to say HA is going to be right. Great. Also, I'm going to say ax.set x limit 9 is 20 and 2020. Great. So I will initialize the function like define in it. Then I will say line.set data. We will give two empty lists like this again and I will say return line. Great. So after this we are going to do update this frame like define update. I'm going to create a function like this and I will give the frame inside. Then I'm going to do x is going to be across to the years and frame like this. And after that y is going to be equal to the data and frame like this. And after that, we can say line set data x and y. Great. So again, we are going to return line. Then what we can do is we are going to create animation like animation is going to be equal to the function animation. And we will say figure update and we are going to set the frames as length of the years. Also, we will give init function is going to be init 
and billet is going to be equal to true. So here it is. We just run it and it seems great. We have a final step in here. So I'm just going to clear this, clear that. And here is our final step. We will say HTML, the HTML class we imported in here. Where was it? Here it is, HTML. We will say animation dot to JavaScript HTML. So after this, we will see that our plot is ready after some time. So I'm just waiting. Here it is. So here we have buttons for changing the settings. And here we have the completed plot. Like what we can do in here is we can just set like once loop and reflect. I'm going to select the loop here. And what these buttons do is you can just make it run like this. It's going to create the animation. If you click on this one, if you just click on this one, it's going to work backwards and I'm just going to make it stop. By this button, you can just skip steps like pressing manually by this button. You can do that too. If you just click this, it's going to complete. If you just press this, it's going to reset everything. And this plus and minus are the fast, how fast this plot is going to animate. And we can just use that like, I'm just going to make it run and I'm going to increase the speed like, I will just press this and you can see that it's looping. If I press one, it's going to run for one time. I'm just going to reset it and we run this and it's much fast right now. I'm just going to make it slow. Like I'm going to press this multiple times and I'm going to say run and we can see that our animation is going to run like this but I think we made it too slow I'll just increase the speed here here is a good visualization so you can do that on the time series data like sales data portfolio analysis and much more these animated plots are really really useful and I use them a lot also you can do like loop and you can make it loop always like it will loop again and great so that was all for this video but i'm going to talk about the code before ending and you can create animated plus like this with this code so let's talk about it we imported the libraries we are going to use we created the data in here and then what we did is we start by setting up our plot defining the figure and axis the init function initializes the plot and the update function is called for each frame, updating the plot with new data. Finally, we create the animation using the function animation class. And that was all for this video. Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This was one of the lectures of time series analysis playlist. You can watch the others for learning more. I'm going to add the playlist link in the cards of this video or in the description. See you in the next tutorial.